Hey, it's Dave Keys, and uh, real quick, I want to take a look at the uh, housing market in Temecula from Trulia. A couple observations. Let's look at median sales price and number of sales. This is the default page that you get when you look up Trulia's market report. Five year window, and this paints a, quite a positive picture. Price is moving up year by year, a little more and a little more each year with uh, um, anywhere from 3 to 7% increase in price, which uh, home sellers love to see, home buyers do not. Um, and so what does this mean for a home buyer? Well, prices keep going up and interest rates are still very low. This can all change and this has changed before and the picture isn't quite as rosy as it might look because all you have to do is go back to 10 years back and look at the track record as to what was happening in this very market that uh, we got sales hitting the half million mark uh, I mean the home the median home price hitting the half million mark here in 2006 and of course then the sudden descent down this market went giving up five years almost five years of value right about oh one to oh seven well yeah I mean eventually it did regress well past five years um, to its past down to 250,000 then it starts coming back up but it has not come really close to its peak so a lot of people who bought here well a lot of them lost their homes you can see um, the number of sales peaked in 04. It kind of collapsed some of them back up in 2005 and then the great slide in 2008. Then we've oscillated. Here's the heartbeat. This is the heartbeat of the market right now. Up and down each year. And we haven't seen a great increase in number of sales, even though we have seen a lot of new home sales here. KB Homes has built um, quite a lot of homes over the last five years some others have been built those are selling but overall the market is kind of hitting um, or not even hitting it's just kind of tepid compared to and it should be kind of tep tepid compared to 2004 2005 now what this means for the market is that any changes we see are going to be either responsive to the overall economy or they're going to be responsive to something else that is coming um, like a very slow tidal wave. And I'll talk more about that in another video on YouTube later this evening. But the trend is that 53% of homes in the United States are owned by baby boomers. Uh, 55 to, to 70 or whatever, but from 1945 on, well, we had the Great War, then we had the World War II to end all wars, and a lot of people were deployed in that war, and they all came back at the end of the war, and they all did what poor Americans with no money to do anything else did, they had lots of sex and lots of babies. Thus, the baby boomers came into the marketplace and has had a major impact on all markets as we aged as baby boomers. Now, the time is coming in the next 10 years, baby boomers are going to start really aging and exiting the housing market as they downsize or move into assisted living type uh, uh, circumstances and scenarios or die. All three are going to happen simultaneously. And that will be the beginning of an influx of inventory as baby boomers exit those 53% of homes that are um, owned by them right now. That will create a bigger price drop than uh, anything as supply far outweighs demand. That'll make homes more affordable. It's not necessarily bad for the economy. Homes will become much more affordable to millennials who right now are having a tough time finding a home that they can afford to buy. And, and so they have to create solutions like renting half their home out to other people, um, sharing the home, 
but that's going to alleviate as we have more inventory um, coming up in the next decade, especially toward the end of that decade. Then I think we'll see uh, overall impact is that there will be more money to spend on other things for millennials. Uh, this will impact Temecula and Marietta businesses in a positive way, I believe. This is Dave Keith, signing off.